We're going to start our synthetic bowel tutorial now. The white line is actually going to represent our submucosa in this exercise. And for the exercise, we're going to pretend that there's a foreign body somewhere in the middle of the jejunum. And typically we cut over the aboral segment, so that usually is downstream. Here's our 11 blade going in. This is a full thickness cut. It can also be done with a 15 blade as well. And as you can see here, I'm trying to visualize that foreign body, which actually can't be completely removed. As you see, I'm actually using my Metzenbaum scissors to extend the incision a little bit. Once I have the foreign body externalized enough, I can use my forceps to actually remove it carefully. And obviously in surgery, we try to reduce contamination. Here you can identify that white line, which is going to resemble our submucosa. So when you take your bite, we're going to focus on doing a modified gamby for now. This also can be done in full thickness. I typically take my bites in the middle and then try to half each segment. As you can see here, the modified gamby allows us to put that tapered needle right underneath the submucosa. And what you want to do is go to the other side and do a similar thing. I am using my fingers to hold the bowel. Obviously, the bowel would also have a set of doyen forceps or someone else's fingers. We're using a uh, monofilament absorbable suture. This is usually typically PDS. In large dogs, you can go with 3O, and in small dogs or cats, you can certainly use 4O. Um, as you can see here, we started with a surgeon knot, and then we're also following up with good square knots, anywhere from four to six throws. And that's uh, really what you want to do. Once you're finished, you're going to go ahead and cut your tag short with about two to three millimeters worth of suture. And then your subsequent bites are going to be also halved. This is not a, uh, a mandatory thing. A lot of people start on one end or the other, but I like to half my segments. And you can see here I'm doing a similar bite. This is just going to be a modified gamby, which means I'm not going full thickness. I'm actually going just below the submucosa. Once I have that bite, I'm going to do a very similar type of pattern. I'm going to go ahead and do my surgeon's knot and then follow it with a number of about four to six other throws on top of that, depending upon uh, how secure I feel. Um, again, this is a monofilament absorbable suture, PDS. And in uh, small cats and small dogs and cats, it's going to be about uh, 4O. And then larger dogs, you can go with uh, potentially 3O. Here we are finishing cutting. You can actually see that there's a bit of a gap between these two. So I would typically go ahead and probably begin putting the rest of my sutures in. But you can see here, that's where I would put one in between those sutures. They're about uh, 2 to 3 millimeters apart. So that's the uh, particular size and distance I like to use for my bites. And notice here we have the finished product. 